Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and my name's Kendra. We're going over plank pose. Plank is a very common posture that happens in many yoga classes. So let's break this pose down so that you know exactly what to do next time you're on your mat. Whenever you're ready, let's get started. Let's start on our hands and knees. And before we go right into plank, we will do a little bit of a warm up so that we can build foundation before we go and hop right into plank. So come onto your hands and knees. Knees are hip width apart. And take the palms so they're directly underneath the shoulders. Now feel all 10 fingers grounding onto the mat, especially the big thumb and the pointer finger. Draw the shoulders out and down, so feel the shoulder blades drawing down the back. Draw the belly button in towards the spine, low rib cage tucks. Feel a neutral pelvis, so maybe if you go into a little bit of cat cow here, up and down, and then feel what is neutral for you. The hips are level. Tuck your toes. Now lift the knees a couple inches off of the mat. Keep grounding into the hands. Good, feeling the core engage. Keep the gaze looking down towards the mat so the back of the neck is nice and long. Now as you start to work, the most important part is don't hold your breath, don't forget to breathe. Exhale, release the knees onto the mat, untuck your toes. Sway the hips from left to right, go back and forth a few times. Now let's go back into that again, ground into the hands, tuck your toes, lift the knees off the mat. So feel your shoulders. Make sure that you're not dropping into the shoulders or that you're making your back all wonky. That was a huge over-exaggeration. But <laughs> just make sure that you're in a neutral pelvis. The spine is nice and long. Shoulders are engaged. The shoulder blades are drawing out and down. And your core is engaged. So you're protecting your low back. Exhale, release the knees. Untuck your toes. Beautiful, so now let's go into plank. Straighten the right leg, tuck the toes out behind you. Press back through the right heel, so now feel the right leg straight and strong. Re-engage your core, gather your strength, inhale fully. Extend the left leg out behind you, ground your toes. Beautiful, so you wanna work on, in your plank, having a straight line from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Keep grounding into the hands, grounding into the toes. Draw the navel in. Pelvis is in a neutral position. Keep the gaze looking down towards the floor. It's not looking down at your feet or looking up. It's just the extension of the spine. If this is too much for the wrists, you can always come down onto the forearms. That's another option. And if this is all too much to have the legs straight, then feel free to release the knees onto the mat, untucking the toes. And this is perfectly fine, being on your knees in plank. Good, exhale. If you're not already there, come down onto the knees and settle yourself back into child's pose, pressing the sits bones back towards the heels, forehead rests on the floor. Take a couple breaths. Inhale, come back up onto the hands and knees. 
So that's our step-by-step -step how to do plank pose. Plank is a very common strength pose in a lot of Hatha classes. And it's important, again, to know your body and challenge yourself with awareness and compassion. And so make those adjustments, make modifications that you have to so that you can still breathe deep and full. I hope that helped. Like and share if it did. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, guys.